right, guys, and welcome back to Black Ops Cold War. Let's go talk to some of the people around here, shall we? Hudson doesn't seem to trust me. So let's talk to him first. Does the name Madam Shell mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. There's intel crisscrossing Arpinet that her body washed up along the Padillos River in Cyprus. Huh. Good so. <laughs> and her head, two kilometers downstream. Reports estimate her death around August of last year. Of all places, you were on assignment in Cyprus this past summer. <clears throat> Coincidence, wouldn't you say? Our line of work is full of coincidences. MI6 was keen on finding her. A rogue double agent gone dark for several years. I suppose she must have exposed herself somehow to the CIA. <laughs> Leave behind a trail of heads? Bound to get attention. <clears throat> I worked with Madame Michelle for three years, closely. I trusted her. But the moment I began to suspect something, she knew. I was able to fight her off, but she left me with this parting gift. Damn. Oof. That's a dirty gun. Quite. <coughs> So imagine my surprise when I read these reports. Madame Shell, body washed up on one bank, head on the other. <laughs> Ironic, wouldn't you say? I'd call it poetic justice. Lazar. Thank you. For what? Well, okay. That was interesting. Alright, dude. What's your problem with me? Have you come to convince me that you should be headlining this operation? My service speaks for itself. Years in the field and in intelligence. Hmm. Is that right? Well, at least you're not hiding behind Adler. I'll grant you that. Now what is it? How do you, how well do you know Belikov? That's on a need-to-know basis. And from where I'm standing, there's no reason in hell you need to know that. You're to make contact with him and follow Adler's lead. Can't Belikov just give us the names? Negative. Digging into the KGB's most classified database would blow his cover and burn years of posturing. He'll get you in, but he won't go near that list of names. An excellent proposition. Yeah, whatever, Hudson. Alright, Adler. What's on your mind? Do you think we'll actually get inside the KGB? This isn't the first government agency I've broken into. The best are virtually impenetrable. But there's always a weakness. In this case, the weakness is the KGB placing too much trust in one of their own. How well do you know Pelikov? I don't. He's not one of mine. So I'm the right person for this mission. If there was ever an operation suited to your skill set, it's this one. I handle the talking. You get us the names. Why do you ask? No reason. I won't let you down. Mm -hmm. Alright. 
Talk to you later. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna look at the... I'm gonna read through some of the stuff on the evidence board. If you wanna skip ahead, go ahead. Still at large. Central Intelligence Agency knows little... Oh wait, hang on. Photo of a tactical nuke. The team acquired this photo in East Berlin during the mission to apprehend a or eliminate Anton Volkov. The Central Intelligence Agency suspects that Volkov was smuggling this device through the city, presumably to turn over to Perseus, who has long converted nuclear weapon in weapon of his own. Alright, nothing on the back. Operation Greenlight printout. Best laid plans. Perseus discovered and exploited a CIA program that not even Russell Adler and his team were aware of. Jason Hudson is one of the leaders of Operation Greenlight, a covert program that plays strategic U.S. nuclear devices in Europe, European cities. Greenlight is a last ditch effort to prevent the Soviets from invading Europe, but its execution would carry a terrible price. With the help of Anton Volkov, Perseus stole one of the green light nukes from West Berlin and moved it to a still unknown location. The prospect of Perseus's possessing an American nuke device is terrifying for Western security. If I were Perseus, I'd try to like blow up London and sever that connection. Just saying. Still working among us, Perseus downloaded materials from the mainframe at Mount Yamantau, then promptly deleted them. Once the mainframe was transported back to Langley, the Central Intelligence Agency analyzed it, but very little of value could be recovered. Seriously, all that? All that stuff? And Mason almost got his ass blown off? The CIA managed to acquire a partial list of the code names, but none of the real names associated with those aliases. Despite the sabotage by Perseus, the CIA know, knows what he is after. The sleeper agent that Dragovich once planned to use for his own attack on the United States 13 years ago. We're gonna do Operation Red Circus. It's a side mission. MI6 has spent the last year tracking a group of embedded Soviet agents within multiple European governments. These agents could be strategically positioned to set up a larger Soviet plan for Europe. During a recent operation, we acquired information about this group's structure. There are three unidentified key agents leading it and their handler is the Soviet Major Vadim Rudnik, a name previously connected to Perseus. We have Rudnik's position and can move on him, but if we don't first identify his three lead agents, we risk losing our chance to take all of the embedded agents down. Check out our list of suspects here. Special evidence you find on missions will help identify the three lead agents. I'd advise figuring out who they are before going after Rudnik. All right, let's examine the evidence, shall we? Must have missed one. All 
All right, let's listen to the tape. The last report from Bearded Lady indicates a vote in Parliament is happening soon. She believes she has enough influence to convince others to side with her. Strongman is concerned he's been monitored. Suggests KGB run interference for him. Juggler is worried he may lose his next election. Recommends active measures against his opponents. Okay, based on what he was saying, it's like two dudes and a girl. That ledger from Klaus' apartment might hold some clues to the lead agent identities. Seems Klaus was a middleman to funnel money for them. Okay, so the bearded lady got 15,000 in Dijon, France in September of 1980. Strong man met him in East Berlin in September of 1980. Okay, Juggler was loaned some money in Krakow, Poland in October of 1980. Damn, okay. It's just a picture of Rudnick. Okay. So she was in Dijon, France in uh, 1980, in September. Alright, let's redo this. Like, I just like... Okay, so this is why I chose this person, because she was in Dijon, France in 1980, and out of everyone, she was the only person in Dijon, France that was a girl in 1980 that happened to be there. This guy, he was in East Berlin in September of 1980. Apparently, he seemed to be the only guy. Ended up there during the same time. Now, this one was a little bit tricky. He was in Krakow, Poland in October of 1980, but so was this guy. But if you're gonna look at, but if you're gonna see a politician, I don't know. This guy looks like he's wearing a fake mustache. <laughs> That's why I picked him. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Woods and Mason are gonna take point on this. Apparently, Rudnik is lying low in a remote Soviet base in the mountains of Uzbekistan. Not remote enough. We're gonna land our boys nearby and pay him a little visit. Let's cut this Perseus sucker down to size. We came all this fucking way. Command <laughs> sounded confident. Once we blow the shit out of their radio tower and create a distraction, we'll find out. It's time for a little hide and seek. All right, we're in position. Roger that. There's an airmail package ready for delivery. Just need an address. Go ahead and mark the radio tower for us. Mason, the tower's up above on that far reach. Gotcha, Woods. Coordinates coming your way. Roger. The check is in the mail.
Did I do something wrong? Thanks, Woods. Seriously? Oh, man, I keep getting hit. isn't here. Get out of here. It's taking too long. Not blowing up the radio tower we're supposed to get. Oh, shit. 
shit. Where'd that come from? Thanks, Woods. Get into this building. We got Rudnik. We need kill confirmation. With the guys! Give me a second. You need a clear picture of 
the body. We need a photo of Rudnick for Langley, Mason. Kill confirmed. We got the pick to prove it. Maybe next time we can draw pictures for them, too. Nice work. Evac chopper inbound. Pop some smoke to mark your location. There's smoke anywhere you want to mark the location for the XL helicopter to land. Be sure to choose a location you can defend. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I know. Try a different location. Good. Mason, we can't bring the chopper down until you mark a location. Smoke out! Chopper's just a few minutes out. Come on. Ah, shit. Bridge? She can blow that bridge up. Thank you.
Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. I'll see you next time. Peace.